welcome to another idea space craft lawn with the public library of brookline my name is christy and i'm a reference and technology librarian at the brookline village library and i'm here today in our idea space to show you all how to make your own stenciled reusable tote bag let's get started is this your first public library of brookline to go program here's how it works each month, the library is offering new take-home program kits, complete with everything you need to follow along and video or written instructions created by one of your local librarians. The best part? Absolutely no due dates. You can keep everything included in your kit. Visit brklib.com to go for a full list of our current kit offerings and follow the link there or visit brklib.com slash eventbrite to reserve yours for free pickup at any library location. Now let's get crafting. Today's project will take most makers about an hour and a half of active crafting time, plus some drying time somewhere in the middle, depending on how thoroughly you cover your tote bag. Here's what you'll find inside this month's kit. Two stencil templates, one sheet of stencil film, a blank canvas tote bag, three colors of acrylic paints, a permanent marker, a craft knife, and a foam paintbrush. From home, you'll also need a knife-friendly work surface like a cutting board or a craft mat, and you might also want some additional scrap paper, a pencil, and some tape. Take a moment to gather your materials, and then we'll get started. We've included two stencil templates in your kit. One with simpler geometric shapes that's a bit easier to cut, and one with more organic shapes with some trickier curves. You're also welcome to design your own stencil template. Just flip over one of ours and sketch your own design with a pencil. If you'd like to add text or more complex shapes in your stencil, just keep in mind that you'll need to be sure that any uncolored shapes you want in your stencil will be connected to the outer frame or they'll fall out when you start to cut. You can fix this by adding small connecting lines to any floating shapes. Whether you choose one of our patterns or create your own, the next step is to transfer your design onto your stencil film. Layer your film on top of your design, then trace all your shapes with your permanent marker. Next, get your craft knife and cutting surface ready. As a reminder, your craft knife is sharp. Always keep the blade retracted when not in use and be careful to cut away from your other hand in case the blade slips. Starting from the center, use your craft knife to cut out your design. As always, when using a sharp tool, go slower than you think you need to. You may need to trace over some sections more than once to cut all the way through. Once your design is fully cut, you're ready to start stenciling. Throw away any extra plastic scraps and don't forget to retract that craft knife. From your kit, get your acrylic paints and open them up. We've included three colors, but you can also add your own from home or mix your colors on a palette to create new ones. I decided to improvise a bit on my bag here, but you can also use your paper template to plan out what colors you'd like where. Lay your canvas bag flat on your work surface and decide where you want your stencil. Keep in mind that your stencil is reusable, so you can repeat all or part of your pattern on different parts of your bag. Whichever template you decided not to use, tuck it inside your bag underneath the area you'll be stenciling to prevent paint from bleeding through. If you have it handy, we recommend using a bit of office or washi tape to keep your stencil steady while you work. Now it's time to start stenciling. Take your foam brush from your kit and get a bit of paint on the end. If you're going to use multiple colors, try to start with the lighter ones first. Then pick a shape and dab the paint straight down onto your canvas. For crisper edges, you can use your free hand to hold the stencil flat to the fabric as you work. When 
When you're ready to start a new color, just rinse out your foam brush in the sink with some warm water until it runs clear and pat your brush dry with a paper towel. As soon as your stencil is fully painted in, you can lift it up off your bag and set it aside. Rinse your brush again as well as your stencil and put the lids back on your paints while your project dries for at least 30 minutes. Once the paint is dry to the touch, you can either apply more stenciling or remove your paper liner. Thank you all so much for crafting with us today. We would love to see what you made with your kit, so please feel free to share your project with us on social media using the hashtag MakeYourOwnStory. The Craft Along program is generously sponsored by the library trustees and the friends of the Brookline Public Library. From all of us here at the library, we miss you and wish you very happy making. Bye.